everyone. I am Rahul Gosain. And I'm Roy Gosain. And we are Oncology Brothers. Today, we're honored to have a world-renowned leader, educator, and a clinician in the field of GI malignancy, Dr. Kathy Ng from Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center. With Dr. Ng, we hope to discuss her approach to treating colon cancer and to reiterate the current standard of care treatment options. Dr. Ng, welcome. Dr. Ng, as we're discussing later lines here, uh, Frequentinib is a drug already approved in China and the global data from Fresco 2 looks very promising. Can you please share a few key points for this trial, its design and its filing um, as we await for its approval? Thank you so much for asking. Yes, so this is a selective oral um, inhibitor, specifically uh, VEGF receptors 1, 2, and 3. Um, and it is, so it, there is no associated cytotoxic therapy. It is an oral agent and it's provided three weeks on and one week off. Um, this uh, drug was provided to patients. They were allowed to receive prior Lonserf or regorafenib or have been exposed to both. This was an international trial with investigators involving Australia, Japan, Europe, and the United States, and enrolled very quickly within 16 months. Um, and our primary endpoint was overall survival, and we fulfilled the primary endpoint for overall all survival. Um, now, in comparison to a placebo as the control arm, because in all fairness, and as you as mentioned earlier, the current drugs that are available in this setting are only Lonserf and Regorafenib. So there is nothing past that in regards to a control arm. And um, we had a very nice improvement in hazard ratio with 0.66, um, an improvement over, of, overall survival of 2.6 months, and an improvement in, in PFS of 1.9 months. Um, the median lines of therapy for people that participated in this trial was five lines of therapy. So this was heavily pretreated patients and significant benefit in regards to overall survival and PFS. But if you even look at those patients that had received it in the third line setting and you look at our forest plot, it also is conclusive for benefit overall. So um, this is currently sitting um, at the FDA undergoing review. The primary side effects, as you can guess, for this class of agents, because it is an anti-VEGF agent, is hypertension, very similar to bevacizumab, and um, less than 10% risk of hand-foot syndrome and ischemia. So, Well, congratulations on these excellent findings, Dr. Wang. Uh, Thank once you. In, uh, once in practice, we learned stepping up dosing of rigorafenib was a better approach. Do you envision we will start slowly and then up titrate for quintanib as well? I don't think so. I mean, we saw, um, you know, prolonged benefit of um, uh, stability for patients, for the majority of patients. And, and I don't know if we really need to, you know, increase the dosing to maximize it any further. I feel very confident that if you move it to an earlier setting, not necessarily the fifth line setting, right. you're probably going to see um, a significant benefit um, for the patient. And as mentioned earlier, it's tolerated well. We don't have any issues with myelosuppression or hand foot skin reaction. Um, I, I, I look forward to seeing some additional data in combination. We just finished um, our phase two data um, uh, in combination with immune checkpoint inhibition, and I'd love to see um, you know, the overall results. Um, it was a s small uh, multi-site study that was just completed um, just last month. So That's incredible. To summarize, exploring clinical trial as an option for any stage is extremely important. Role of circulating tumor DNA continues to evolve, and this will help us in selecting the right patient population for the right treatment. In metastatic settings, we have recently seen approval for our two amplified patient population through Mountaineer study. We will eagerly await on approval for Froclitinib. Dr. Ng, thank you so much for being with us today and reiterating the current standard of care for colon cancer patient population. Thanks so much for having me here today. I really appreciate it. <laughs>